In the name of God, the holy and undivided Trinity. Amen. I am not one of those people who gets excited about the day of Pentecost because it's the birthday of the church. If that were all we were celebrating, I would stand here and say, happy birthday church, you giant dysfunctional thing, you. That's not what we celebrate. We celebrate the fact that the Holy Spirit has come into the world. And wherever the Holy Spirit shows up, it brings just enough chaos to make things interesting. Loud winds and miracles. And then, more importantly, things even more subtle. The whisperings of the Spirit that we get day after day, year in, year out. And it's those things that we celebrate. The fact that we are never further from the Spirit of God than our own breath. We're never further from the Spirit of God than we are to each other. That's something to get excited about. That's something to celebrate. That's something to put on your, your red, um, your Star Trek red um, engineering socks. So no away missions for me today. <laughs> That's something to be taken up by. I do not believe that the miracle of Pentecost is that the disciples were able to speak in tongues that they did not study in high school or in college. But the miracle is that all those people gathered around from the extremities of the ancient world all heard the good news in a language that they understood. That's the important part. That's what we need to remember. That's what we need to cling to is that God has opened the doors wide. God has opened the doors to all nations, to all people, and that is something to get excited about. That is something to celebrate. That is something that will sustain us. And all God wants us to do is to hear the good news in language that we understand and be willing to share the good news in language that other people understand. The world is changing. God is making all things new. I think sometimes we're like Philip though. Philip and his good friend Thomas <laughs> who doesn't show up today. <laughs> But Philip, we're like that. Lord, show us the Father. And Jesus is like, wait, where have you been? How many classes did you miss this semester, Philip? <laughs> if you have seen me, Jesus says to Philip, you've seen the Father. Because I am in the Father, the Father is in me, the Father and I are one. And guess what? The advocate is coming. The spirit of truth is coming. The one who will draw close to you and walk alongside you and whisper words of encouragement, that one is coming into the world. And that's what we celebrate today. The presence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that gets us excited, that gets us energized to go out and share this good news. The Holy Spirit that comforts us, comforts us when we are grieving. The Holy Spirit that reassures us that we have indeed seen God. In as much as we experience Jesus, in as much as we see the divine in each other, that's what the Holy Spirit is here to remind us of. That's why we gather together. That's what we need to take away. 
because the Holy Spirit comes to us and prays with us. I don't know about y'all, but I take a great deal of comfort knowing that I don't pray by myself, that the Holy Spirit prays even when I can't pray. Sighs too deep for words, Paul writes in Romans. And the Holy Spirit adds prayers to our own. Helps us to say, even tentatively and hesitantly and unsure of what we're saying, Abba, Father. And the Holy Spirit says, yes, bingo, you got it. That's what you need to know. That's what you need to take away. Because if we can reach out to God like we do a parent, like we do our mothers, like we do our fathers, then we understand something about God. Then we understand something about the work that Jesus came to do, which is to bring us all together into the same household, to bring us all together because we are adopted children of God. We have been made part of the same family. And that's the miracle of Pentecost is there's no insiders and there's no outsiders. The miracle of Pentecost is the doors have been opened. The table has been set. And it's not just for us. What we do is we take seriously the notion that if we can cry out with the Holy Spirit, Abba Father, then we can hear that cry in others and we recognize that we're just here to make a space. We're here to make a safe space. We're here not as gatekeepers, but as the ones to take the gates off the hinges <laughs> and throw them down forever and open our doors, open our hearts, open our space and know that the Holy Spirit will be with us and the Holy Spirit will inspire us, and the Holy Spirit will comfort us when we are afraid, and the Holy Spirit will pray with us and add its prayers and help us to cry out to the one who is reconciling all things, bringing all things together, making all things new. And yep, that's something to get excited about. That's something to send us out into the world, proclaiming the good news that everybody is part of the family. Amen.